Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different tech tips and how to become a work from home freelancer. In my last video, I showed you how you can bulk create social media posts and quite a few people were asking me if I could do a similar video teaching you how to bulk create videos or reels or shorts. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that using Canva and ChatGPT. You need the free account of ChatGPT and to use the bulk create feature, you have to have Canva Pro. If you don't have Canva Pro, that's okay. We can use a different method, which I'll also show you that just takes a bit more time. Being able to bulk create videos means you can push out a lot more content instead of having to individually create each video. And let's say you do not have any social media presence, but you want to start a faceless channel or gain an audience on social media. Here is an example YouTube channel using this method. It's called Psychology Arcade. If you look at their shorts, so many of them have millions and millions of views and they are such simple little videos using this exact method. This one, for example. So this channel does something intentionally. They have the first part of the fact come on and then after a few seconds, the second part comes on, but this comes on and off within like two seconds. So you hardly have enough time to read it. They do this intentionally because they want you to watch the video over and over again. I personally find it to be extremely annoying, but it is helping them get more views to their shorts. And hopefully they're able to convert all these views to subscribers. So I'm going to show you how to do something like this and make these types of videos. And again, you can do this with absolutely any niche. Some of the most popular ones have to do with astrology, relationships, psychology, boys and girls facts, etc. So now we're going to open up ChatGPT and you do not need the paid version of ChatGPT. So I'm going to just use the 3.5 free version to demonstrate this. And you're going to type in the following prompt. I have it already prepared here. Of course, this will vary depending on your niche. So we want to create a table that includes 100 interesting facts about psychology. I want the topics to involve personality disorders, narcissism, types of narcissists, how the brain works, etc. They should be engaging and very interesting. Do not repeat any facts. Part one should engage the reader to keep reading, while part two reveals the interesting fact. So then I've written column one will be the topic name, column two, part one of the fact, column three, part two of the fact. And then I've provided an example. I recommend doing this because this is the only way to let ChatGPT know exactly what you're looking for. So for my example, the category name, narcissist fact, ever wonder why narcissists seem to never apologize. And then we have the fact itself. So we're going to paste that here and add in any other relevant information. I've written, keep the facts short and simple and easy to understand, no more than 25 words each, and then click send message. And you can see that ChatGPT has gone through and given us all these different facts with the general topic. And it hasn't given us the full 100, so we can just ask it to continue creating facts like this until we reach 100 facts total. Now, in order to make sure that you actually have 100 and a great way to keep track of these is to open up Google Sheets. You can also open up Excel. Just go to google.com slash sheets and then click on blank spreadsheet. This is completely free. All you need is a Google or Gmail account. We can just name this spreadsheet personality disorder facts. And this is a place that we can go ahead and save our facts. So if we go back to ChatGPT, let's go to the start and copy this table. Right click copy, then go to your spreadsheet. And very importantly, you don't want to just click control V paste because it will do this. And this is not what we want. So let's just click undo. What we want is to right click, then go paste special and choose values only, or you can press control shift plus V. And that will make sure we have our topic in the first one, then part one, and then part two, okay? And this is very important. Now we're only doing this to be able to keep track of how many facts we have. You can see that ChatGPT initially generated 43, 
So we're going to go back and paste the remaining so we have our 100 facts. So again, just copying all of them, copy, and over here, just go to where it says 44, right click, very importantly, to paste values only. So now we have all the content we need to make our 100 reels. So now is the fun part. We're going to create our video template using Canva. Canva is completely free to use, so you can create an account and sign up using the link in the description below. You're going to click here on videos, and then we're going to click on mobile video, and that will give us that portrait size video that is so commonly used with reels and shorts, etc. So there are many different templates you can use on Canva, but we're going to create this from scratch. The first thing we want to do is adjust the video length. You can see it's set at five seconds. And for these short videos, it could be anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. I want to adjust this to 10 seconds. I think that's a good start for this type of video. You can adjust that by clicking here or by clicking and dragging over here to adjust the length. Now we need a background color, image, or video. So the easiest way to make a background is just to click on it, click here on background color, and then just choose whatever color or gradient you want. But in this case, we're not going to do that. What we want to do is add a background video so it's a little bit more dynamic. So to do that, go over here to this side and click on apps. And then where it says search Canva apps, we're going to type in videos then click here on videos. And this will show you all these different videos that we can use as a background. And it's okay if they are in landscape format, as you can see, because we're going to make some adjustments. So in this case, I'm doing a bunch of psychology videos. So I want something a little bit like spooky or eerie. So if you have the pro account, you can use any of these that have the pro icon. And if you don't, you can filter and look at all the free ones by clicking here on filters and then click free. And all of these are ones you'd be able to use. So let's say I want to use this one here. What I can do to make this my background is right click on it, select set video as background, then double click on it and you can adjust the positioning. So if you press play to preview, you'll see what it will look like. So you can just adjust it as needed. And you can see that the duration has been changed to the length of the video. So we could just shorten that back to 10 seconds. So you can make some adjustments to the way the video looks by clicking on it just once and selecting edit video. And then here where it says effects, you can choose any of these filters if you want. And you can also adjust the intensity you could even go back and click adjust and make some more custom edits to it. So now we're going to click on text and just click here on add a heading. We're going to type in topic, then double click to highlight the text and choose whatever font you want. For this one, I'm going to go with Anton and we're going to click on effects and then click on background to give it a background color. I wanna go with like a dark red. You can adjust the spread and everything as well. And you could also adjust the font size. Now we're going to click and drag. So this is at the top here because this is where our topic will be displayed. Now, very importantly, before we do the bulk creating, click on this middle icon here. We want to adjust the purple box so it's like this. And the reason for that is later on when we do our bulk creating, we need to make sure there's enough space for the entire title. Now, the next thing we're going to do is click on the text again, then right click copy or control C to copy, and then right click paste or control V to paste. Bring that down and we're going to write part one. And for me, I want to adjust this so it's a little bit different from the font and colors of the top. I'm actually going to click effects and change the background color to white, and then click on the text and change the text to black. And I want to adjust the font type so it's Proxima Nova and bolden it. And that's just a personal preference. And then what you're going to do is Control C, once again to copy part one, Control V, and this is where we're going to do part two. Now part two, you can just put a little bit below it 
It doesn't matter if it's on top because we're going to adjust the timing. I actually want to change part two to make it black and white. So what we want to do, and this part is very important, we need to adjust the timing so that part one comes on first and then part two after and part one disappears. So to do this, click on part one, right click, select show timing. So you can see that part one is going to pop up the entire time. We want to change this. You can actually make it pop up a little bit after the topic does. And then you want it to last around five seconds, six seconds, something like that. Then click on part two and you're going to click and drag so it's going to pop up afterwards. In the example channel I showed you, they had part two last for a really short time so that people would watch the video over and over again in order to understand it. So it's up to you if you want to use that strategy. If not, you're going to just adjust it so it will pop up after part one. So to preview, you can scroll this little playhead to the beginning, click play. You can see part one pops up. And then after that part two, actually there's a bit of an overlap. So I'm just going to adjust part two a bit. I wish that Canva had it so you can see both text options, but unfortunately it does not. Okay, so that's pretty much perfect. So now we're ready to do our bulk creating. So we're going to go back to the apps over here on the side, type in bulk create, and then click on the bulk create app. So what we want to do is click enter data manually. You can click clear table if you want, it doesn't really matter. And let's go back to our psychology facts that we saved in Google Sheets. So we want to copy all 100 facts. I'm going to start down here, highlight all of the 100 facts, control C to copy or right click copy, go back to Canva, then click on this first little box here, control V to paste. You can see it has pasted all 100 facts perfectly. Now this is also very, very important. We need to give titles to all of these. So the first column we're going to type in topic. The next column will be part one. The next column will be part two. Then click done. So now we have to connect our data to our elements over here. So let's click on topic, right click, connect data and connect it to topic. And you can see now with these little bracket things that this has been connected. We're going to do the same with part one, right click, connect data, part one, and then click on part two, right click, connect data, part two, and now we're done. So now all we have to do is click continue and it's going to ask us if we want to generate all of these videos. So let's click generate 100 designs. So what it has done is if we go to the side here and click on grid view, you can see we have 100 videos. Now I know it looks like the text is on top of each other, but let's go back to our normal view and press play and you'll see it's not. You can see it has our topic. We've got our first fact and then our second fact. And what you can see here is that you actually might want to adjust the size even more because we have a lot of space. So you could increase the size of the text so it fills more of the video. And if you wanted to customize this, because obviously we have the same background for each one, you could drag and drop like we did previously to change the background. Another idea would be, let's say for all of the categories, personality disorders, you made it one background color for the text. And then for the videos on narcissism, you did a different one. But basically, we've just created a hundred videos just like that. Now, the last thing we need to do to export them is go to share, go to download, download as MP4 video. However, very, very importantly, make sure download pages as separate files is selected. Now, this is a premium feature, so you do have to have the pro account. You also have to have a pro account to use Bulk Create. If you don't have this selected, it will export it as one big long video. So we're going to download, and you can see here it's going to download. 
I'm going to show you the result of that in a second. Let's say you do not have the pro account of Canva. How could you do something like this? Well, I think the easiest way would be to go back to your initial video. I'm actually going to use this one as a demo. And what you would do is just do one at a time. So for example, we have the topic part one and then part two. And what you can do is let's say do all your narcissistic topic videos first and just copy paste, copy paste, and then share, download, export as a video, and then just replace it with your next video. And you would just do that individually while having your spreadsheet. It will take more time, obviously, but if you have the template ready to go, all you really have to do is copy and paste three times export, copy and paste three times export, and then do that 100 times. So now I've extracted the folder and you can see here are 100 videos ready to post. So let's preview one of these videos. And there we go. So you can have as much fun with this as you want, be as creative as you want, customize them how you'd like, but this is just an awesome way to produce a lot of content quickly because everyone else is using tools like this right now. And if you want to experiment with a new niche, this is a great way to do it without having to individually spend hours creating each video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or you want more content related to this, let me know in the comments section below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.